This is Gary Kroger, a candidate for the U.S. House of Representatives from Iowa's 1st District. And I'm out on the campaign trail this weekend, as I'm often out. A big part of campaigning is getting out there, driving around, going to the all of the counties, going to central committee meetings, meeting people, listening to them, talking to them, hearing their concerns. And I'm going to have some video logs like this where in the middle of these uh, campaign journeys, I, I want to share some thoughts. Uh, a young man came up to me yesterday after a meeting, and he said, he asked actually, well, he said, Gary, uh, I know that you're, you, you support gay rights, and I know that you're a proponent of marriage equality. But then he asked, what else are you going to do for gay rights? And I looked at him and I said, I don't know. I don't know. I want you to tell me. I want you and others to tell me. I want to have a conversation and, and, and learn from you what, what, what the needs and desires and the wants are. I don't know everything. I don't have all the solutions. Um, in fact, when candidates do posture to appear that they do have uh, the answers for everything, that's being disingenuous because it's not possible. Sometimes voters seem to want to think that their candidates have an answer for everything, but that's not really possible. Um, Senator Al Franken called me up just a few weeks ago and he said, Gary, your job is to listen. It isn't to talk, it's to listen. It's to hear your constituents and hear what their needs are, their concerns, their desires, their fears. And he was absolutely correct. And, and that's what I'm saying right now. I don't have all the solutions. I don't have all the answers. But together, the conversations that we have, the ideas that we share, the feelings, the fears, the concerns, the compassion that we develop for each other, um, that's where the solutions will be. That's where the answers are. Anyway, that's my thought for right now, and I'm back to hit the trail. Till next time, see you later.